All right, my beautiful people, thanks so much for tuning in to the Money Mind Shift. 15 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day to keep broke away. And we're going through the book, How Rich People Think by Steve Saibo. Steve, coming from my check. Now, here's the deal, guys. I put a link right in the side there. Like, if you want to get this book, you just actually buy it through me. Uh, making a recommendation that you read this book. And we're going through 15 minutes a day. Now, here's the deal. Wealth begins in the mind, guys. Wealth begins in the mind. You must be wealthy in your mind long before you're wealthy in your wallet. So what we're doing is we're going through this 100-day journey. We're on day number 37 where we can change the way that we think so we can change the results that we have in our life. You don't change. You don't. When you see that there's rotten fruit going on with the tree, you don't attack the fruit. What you need to do is you need to attack the root. You pull weeds up by the root. So we got to get these weeds, these bad money philosophies out of our life and we actually have to imprint some new seeds to have good philosophies into our life so we can grow in abundance and grow in our thinking. Now, here's the deal. I can tell people to read this book all day long, but unfortunately, people just simply won't read it. So what I decided to do was start this show where we could actually go through the book together. And so hopefully this 15 minutes is going to change the way that you think about money. And then you can actually start to attract it. You can actually start to manage it better. You can actually start to, your way on your road to getting out of debt or on your road to prosperity because there is some work involved that you have to do, but you first have to change the way that you think about money. Hey, I know you don't have a lot of time. I don't have a lot of time. So let's get started. Day number 37, middle class waits for their ship to come in. The world class believes uh, builds their own ship. The middle class waits for their ship to come in. The world class builds their own ship. The average person subconsciously believes he's going to be discovered, saved, or made rich by an outside force in the future. It's like the fat person slowly killing herself through obesity who patiently waits for the next pill or potion to make her thin and healthy. They are convinced their hero on the white horse is right around the corner ready to save them from themselves. Now, I know quite a few people who are just waiting for someone else to save them from themselves when they can actually do some of the saving themselves. Now the world class knows no one is coming to their rescue. And if their life is going to be uncommon in any way, they, it will be through their own efforts. The foundational principle they live by is self-reliance and personal responsibility. Now here's the deal guys, if you want to change the way that your world is, you wanna change your finances, you gotta first take responsibility. You have had something to do with where you are right now in life. You have had some part to play in where your finances are right now in your life. And so until you decide that you're going to take personal responsibility for your very own financial life and ultimately your life itself, it's going to be very, very difficult for it to change. If you want your life to change, you must change. If you want your life to change, if you want your finances to change, if you want this whole thing that you have going on with money and debt and all that stuff to change, you must change. <laughs> the world class are not counting on the government to bail them out or their family to take care of them in their old age. Champions don't wait for things to happen. They make things happen. Champions don't wait for things to happen they make things happen. And I truly believe that I'm connected to some champions. I truly believe that I'm connected to people who are saying, no more waiting, we're gonna make things happen. See, I, I, I wanna surround myself with champions. You see that? Muhammad Ali, Bruce Lee, Michael Jordan, I'm surrounded by champions. These are people that make things happen. They don't wait for them to happen. Michael Jordan said, give me the ball. Uh, Muhammad Ali said, I was a champion long before I was a champion because I thought it in my mind. And what I'm trying to, and, and Bruce Lee, oh my goodness, if you want to it, just be like water, be fluid like water, change like water. You can change. Here's the deal. These are people that I surround myself with and they're champions. And they've decided that they're going to take personal responsibility for their life, personal responsibility for where they're going. And I'm telling you guys, if you want your finances to change, you got to take personal responsibility. You've got to say that we're no longer waiting on someone else to handle our own finances and we are going to make things happen. And you can absolutely do it. The more physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual effort they invest, the more, the more help they receive from others who have traveled the same path. 
Self-made millionaires have an emotional affinity for the driven, the ambitious, upstart struggling to break free. They often reach out to give the newcomer an extra push in the right direction that only someone at their level can, can provide. The ultra successful love nothing more than to see a mirror image of their struggling selves back in the days before they were rich. They're inspired by the pluck, tenacity, and perseverance that every motivated middle-class performer must demonstrate to someday be elevated to the group known as the world class. The pluck, the tenacity, and the perseverance is something that you must demonstrate if you want to elevate yourself from one group to the next. You've got to show that you are serious and that you're going to do whatever it takes to elevate your finances. Do you have the pluck? Do you have the tenacity? Do you have the perseverance? It's a rite of passage to a life most only dream of, and the rich are glad to lend them support, offer advice, and cheer them on. So while getting rich appears to be a linear process, the truth is it's only linear in the beginning. It takes a village to raise a child, and it takes a team to build a fortune. It takes a village to raise a child and it takes a team to build a fortune. Here's the deal guys, if you wanna go fast, go alone. But if you wanna go far, you go together. And that's from Bill Gates. And so it's not you're not gonna build a fortune by yourself. I mean, you can start out that way, but eventually you're gonna connect with people who share your same vision, who share your same drive, who share your ambition that's going to help you along the way. Matter of fact, this show is helping you along the way. We've connected some type of way through, through the internet or however it is that we're connected, and it's helping you along the way towards your path to prosperity. But guess what? There is work involved. There is some perseverance that's involved. There's some tenacity that's involved that you got to have inside of yourself. You're saying, saying, you know what? I'm going to make this happen. And that's exactly what I, I said to myself. I'm going to get out of debt. I'm going to make it happen. And guess what? I had the perseverance. I had the tenacity. I was willing to do whatever it took to make sure I didn't owe anybody anything but love. Do you? Is it that serious to you? Is it that? Is that your mission? I don't know what your mission is. I know what my mission was. I don't know what your mission is. So while, uh, So the difference is while the masses wait around for help, the great ones go to work and fight never counting on help or support to arrive. And in true nonlinear fashion, the harder they fight, the more help they receive. Think about that for a second. The harder that you fight, the more help that you receive. It's, it's something about a person that's fighting and scratching this claw and that's doing whatever it takes to try and build this new life, to do whatever it takes to defeat the enemy, that people come to their aid. They come to help them to win because they see this person that is doing uncommon things and it is fighting for their very own life. And so I want you to take the position that you're going to fight for your financial life. That, that's, that's a whole different disposition that you're going to fight for your financial life. Most people are just letting life pass them by. They're, they're just letting the fight go to the, the, go to the other side and just, they're, they're not even fighting. They're just laying down and saying, hey, you do what you want with my money. What I'm trying to tell you guys, if you take the position that you're going to fight for your financial life, your financial life will change. <laughs> Go fight for your right. That's right. Go and fight for your right. So it turns out the self-made man or woman is only self-made in the sense that they proactively began chasing their dream with no expectation of, ass of assistance. Are you going to proactively chase your dream? Now, here's the deal, guys. We talk about this all the time. We say, hey, what is your mission? And again, when I say I want you to be rich, it's not about the money. It's about your mission. And I want you to go chasing after your mission because I know that as you do that, as you fight, then the money will come. As you fight, the help will come. As you fight, the team that you need to build your fortune will come. But, but here's the deal. No one is going to be attracted to someone who is not fighting. I'm not attracted to lazy people. Are you? I'm not attracted. They're not people that I say, hey, I want to go. I want to go help you be more lazy. No, you got to be a person that's showing that you are the proactive person, that you're the strategic person, that you're the fighter, that you're tenacious, that you're resilient. This is the type of attitude that people are attracted to because they know that it's going to osmosis into their life and they're going to have that tenacious drive, that persevering spirit to go fight 
for whatever it is that they want? Are you willing to be pro to proactively chase your dream? Now, here's your quote of the day. It says that he that waits upon fortune is never sure for, gen for dinner. That's by Benjamin Franklin. Again, Benjamin Franklin said that he that waits upon fortune is never sure for dinner. You can't wait. Don't be the person that's that's waiting for the ship to come in and rescue you. And I think this is what a religion has done in a, in a sense. It's, it's, it's in a sense it said that, hey, Jesus is coming to save you. You have someone, some Superman, some superwoman, some, some, some God that's coming to save you from your very own self. Now, while he may be coming to save your soul, it's some things that you got to do to save your finances. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't want to hear that. Yeah, he may be coming to save your soul, if that's what you believe. But it's something that you got to do to save your finances. That's right. So hopefully you'll be transformed. You'll have a renewing of your mind and you'll go to work. You'll go to work and you'll start to fight the good fight. <laughs> Y'all don't want to get me started today. All right, here's the deal, guys. Here's your critical thinking question of the day. Are you moving forward with your wealth building strategy or are you waiting for someone or something to build it for you? Are you moving forward with your wealth building strategy? I obviously got to have a strategy. Or are you waiting for someone or something to build it for you? Something for you to think about. First, you got to say, hey, you know, maybe you don't have a strategy. Well, you need to get a strategy. Uh, if you don't have a strategy, then you know you don't have a plan. Then you, your plan, if you plan, if you if you fail to plan, you're fa you're planning to fail. So you got to have a plan. You got to have a strategy in place. You got to take some time to do that. We've talked about that in previous episodes. But now that you have that, are you willing to go work your plan? You planned your work. Are you willing to go work your plan, or are you waiting on someone else to build your wealth for you? And guess what happens when they build your wealth? It becomes their wealth. <laughs> A fool and his money will soon part ways, my people. All right, action step. Here's your action step of the day. Here's the thing that you want to do as it relates to what we've talked about today. Decide right now that you will take full responsibility for building your own fortune. Decide right now, right now, that you will take full responsibility for building your own fortune. Here's the deal, guys. If you take responsibility for your financial life, then your financial life will change. If you decide that you're going to go fight for financial freedom, you're going to fight to get out of debt. Guess what? You will win. It's guaranteed that you will win the fight. But what's not guaranteed is that you will fight. You have to decide that you are going to fight for your financial freedom. And I can guarantee you that you will win. If you're tenacious, if you persevere, if you're resilient, if you develop the attitude that no matter what, I'm going to win, and guess what? You're going to win. I've, I've yet to see someone plan something for their life, a goal that they have a burning desire to accomplish that they did not accomplish it. So I guess my question is, do you have a burning desire to get out of debt? Do you have a burning desire to be wealthy? Do you have a burning desire to fulfill or make your dream become a reality? Do you have a burning desire to accomplish your very own goals. Fight. The good fight. And I guess that's the word of the day, guys. God, the word of the day is fight. That's right. Fight. <laughs> it is. That's what the truth is. So here's the deal, guys. Day number 37 is complete. How Rich People Think by Steve Saibo. Steve, coming from my check. Over in the comments, somewhere in here, you're going to see a link that you can go and you get this book. Again, I've recommended this book for 37 straight days. Question is, did you get it? And if not, guess what? You can get it through me. Hey, we're here Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m. I might not be here this Saturday. I'm still trying to figure that out. Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m., 15 minutes a day to keep broke away. I'm ERGJ, your certified financial educator. I'll be here tomorrow at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the question is, will you?